Do you hear that, Nathaniel? Me? Find the maiden that belongs yeah, to that sweet <laughs> voice. Is... Oh, you shall not prevail, foul troll. That maiden is mine. Oh my gosh. It's you. <laughs> yes, it's me. And you are? All right, let's close it up. Oh. <laughs> hey, buddy. You Silent a... name, peasant. Quickly. Artie. Are you in league with the wicked old hag who sent my poor Giselle to this foul place? Artie? Is this man party to this evil plot, Chipmunk? Oh, poor Chipmunk. Speechless in my presence. <laughs> what say you, sir? Don't try my patience. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I seek a beautiful girl. My other half, my one coquette. The answer to my love's duet. I'd like to find one of them too, you know? Then keep a wary eye out, Artie. Come along, Pip. You've met your match, you foul bellowing beast. Giselle, my love. The steel beast is dead, peasants. I set you all free. Are you crazy? Nobody stabs my bus. I'll tear you apart. Do you hear me? Well, strictly speaking, he's a chipmunk. Nathaniel, please, let him speak. But, sire, no, he's delirious. He's going to tell you all sorts of... Go ahead, Pip. What does he want to say? Nathaniel? Nathaniel's glad to have me near. Oh, 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 I know this. You feel you'd die without me here. I wonder if we might... Giselle! I've been dreaming. It appears this odd little box controls the magic mirror. Then this chipmunk. Nathaniel likes the way I leap. I'm handsome even when I sleep. Oh, maybe not. Do you like yourself? What's not to like? Tell me, Magic Mirror, what is this awful place? Why is everything so difficult? Also joining us today is the woman who was actually attacked by this insane... Giselle! Ma'am, I wish I finish just one more question. Please. What villainy is this? Is, is rodent rage on the rise? Magic Mirror, time, I beg no. you. Tell me where she is! Reporting from 116th and Broadway. 116th and Broadway! <sighs> Thank you, Mira. <laughs> You're too late. <laughs> My apologies. You. What? You're the one who's been holding my Giselle captive. Just uh, stay calm. Have you any last words before I dispatch you? You have got to be kidding me. Strange words. <laughs> These are my friends. Oh. This is... I've been dreaming of a true love's kiss. Gone to miss. Pure and sweet waiting to complete my love song. Made I've never met. Who was made? Who was made to finish? What's wrong? You're not singing. I was thinking. Thinking? Before we leave, there's one thing I would love to do. Oh, well, name it, my love, and it is done. I want to go on a date. A date? What's a date? And remember that you guys can come and visit Andalasia anytime. Thank you for taking care of my bride, peasants. Back to Andalasia, of course, to be married, to live happily ever after, forever and ever. Oh, how long?
long do these dates usually last? Well, I suppose. Oh, wonderful. We should go then. Giselle? Yes? And then home to Andalasia? <clears throat> oh, this is Edward. He's my, um, prince. This beautiful <laughs> lady is Giselle, the love of my life, my heart's true desire. Wow. Is something wrong? Oh, just the way you said that. So straightforward. Not a hint of irony. It's very romantic. Well, thank you. May I have the pleasure? <sighs> Edward! Mother? Evil hag, sire! You did this? Shit! So why would Silence! I- Silence! You lying, murderous wretch! When we return home, all of Andalasia shall know of your treachery. Your days as queen will be over! Don't you think that's a bit melodramatic, dear? I don't know what melodramatic means. But you'll be removed from the throne forever, Nerissa. I will see to it. <gasps> yes, yes, of course. Unless... Why so sad, beautiful lady? Storybook in...